Have you ever been asked the question, are you saved? It's basically a yes or no question. If you don't know, you can know today. You might be thinking to yourself, saved from what? Let's explore. To answer this question, we have to look through the pages of the Bible and you will see that there is bad news and good news. Matthew chapter 7 verse 13 states, Broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. Revelation chapter 21 verse 8 states that there is a place called the lake of fire, which burneth with fire and brimstone. This is the second death. Speaking of death, Romans chapter 6 verse 23 says, For the wages of sin is death. Romans chapter 3 verse 23 states, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So the bad news is that every human being that has ever lived is a sinner and need a way out for their sins to be forgiven. The good news is that the Lord Jesus Christ came down from heaven, lived the perfect sinless life, and he endured the cross. Yes, he died on the cross for all of your sins, past sins, present sins, and future sins. He paid for it all. The Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 15, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Just believing the message of the cross, the gospel for today, can save you. There is no sin that God will not forgive, but because of his grace and his love that he has for us, he will completely forgive you based upon the shed blood of the Lord Jesus Christ on the cross. You see, my friend, God's grace is amazing. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 says, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. You see, God will save you based upon your faith in his son, the Lord Jesus. Verse 9, not of works, lest any man should boast. You see, God does not want your religious works. He just wants you to trust and believe what his son Jesus accomplished for you on the cross. When we just believe and rely on him for complete forgiveness and his shed blood on the cross, God completely forgives us. That's what it says in Colossians chapter 1 verse 14, in whom we have redemption through his blood even the forgiveness of sins. So if you're here today and under the sound of my voice, I encourage you to receive the free gift of God. Trust Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior and all of your sins will be completely forgiven and you will be sealed with the Holy Spirit and heaven will be your final home.